Guys, great to have you with us today. Let's get right into it. The Division One title race. Let's have a look at the table. The closest title race in 100 years. Nayak at the moment sitting top on 20 points, but there is just six points between them and Polonia in eighth place. George, can we even say at the moment there is a, a, a favourite in this title race? Um, I don't think so. I, I don't think you could. Um, it's really difficult to tell because any team can, can beat any top of the table, could beat bottom of the table, and bottom of the table could spoil top of the table. Uh, these games um, are neck and neck most of the time until the very last 10 minutes where something drastic changes or, you know, it's, it's, it's on any given day. Uh, depends how many, you know, teams uh, want to press for the or kind of hold their, their abilities to, towards the end to give a good title push. Um, but I, I don't think so. The, there's all high quality games and I don't think you could... You could um, choose a, a winner all right well this that, that, this wasn't a promising start to our task of working out who, who's going to win the title race we're going to have a crack at it at the end um let's start with the team that is top of division one nyak jacob you saw a lot of them they, they showed generally a great consistent level across full didn't they yeah, I would say so. And, uh, you know, it, it, they made it very clear from the offset that they are not looking to hang around in Division One this season. They want to get back into the EPSL. They've had some really good performances on the season. They opened up with a thrilling game at Richmond County, that 4-2 win. They've also beaten Borgetto 4-2. It was a Stephen Chapman hat trick. Um, and they have looked very good. Um, they have that fantastic uh, advantage of playing up at Travers Island. It's a big away day for teams that have to come up there. They've been very consistent at home this season, uh, other than one slip-up that we'll talk about in just a moment. But Nyack have been a really controlled and considered unit. Um, they communicate very well. The attack has been very good. Um, and defensively, they've been solid as well. They have been the most consistent. That's why they're on top of the table. But I do worry for them a little bit because their two of their uh, losses on the season came against Sanzac and Shamrock, two teams that are fighting with them at the top of the table, and you feel they'll need a bit more consistency going into the spring if they really want to get back into the EPSL. We saw it last season with how tight it was between Hoboken, Borgetto, and Richmond County, and we saw the consistency that Hoboken had to get themselves into the EPSL. And we haven't seen much of Nyack. They did not participate in the Kilby Cup, so they're a bit of an unknown going into the spring season. But I'm really curious to see just what kind of team they bring into this opening weekend and into this spring season because if you want to win the Division One title, what, what we've seen over these last two years is you need to be consistent. You need to be able to bring out a full squad and really have the tenacity throughout the spring to keep up that level. 